Hello, Kieran Stanley here outside Portman Road at the official open day here for Ipswich Town Talk. I've got Carl and Tony with me, two Ipswich fans. Uh, guys, um, Town's pre-season, what have you made of it so far? Big lustre. Yeah, it's, uh, it's disappointing. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there's not a lot you can say about it, is there? It's no. been a bit, obviously, we're drawing uh, and Barnett losing. Stuff. Yeah, Barnett, Colchester, Cambridge, well, we've scored th three goals combined yeah. in four games. It's a bit... I'm looking forward to obviously the home game. Is it Saturday? Um, uh, Saturday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to go to that. Uh, yeah, we're looking at goes. We'll see, yeah. You can never take, I suppose, that's a bit cliche, but you can never take the results for pre season as a sort of general what's going to happen for the season. Well, no, but it's all for fitness, isn't it? But yeah, still, but you expect them to be beating teams like Cambridge. You do. <laughs> so, yeah. what, what about the transfer business then, guys? Because it's been a bit slow, to, to say the least. So, what, what have you made of it so far? Uh, actually, I just had a little look at that. Um, was it? Is it Web? Is it Weber? Web from um, Webster. 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 Sorry, that's I beg it, yeah. your pardon. Yeah, Webster. He looks quite a tasty lad. Um, he's training looks. I can look. I can look great yeah, in training. Fair one. Fair <laughs> one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, a bit quiet. Uh, I think yeah. I, I, I'm a Mick in guy. I do trust him. I think he knows. Obviously, well, he's done well, very, very well on the budget he's had. But yeah. everybody wants to see him give, give, give him the money that Marcus Evans supposedly promises him. Where's yeah, yeah. this money? Why are we not signing players? If Norwich can bid ten million for the forward from from um, Fulham, why can't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Are there any particular players that you've seen out there that you think could really do something for Town or? That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, it's, well, it's, there's, there's several. Well, Messi would be awesome, wouldn't he? But <laughs> there's several players. But who would want to come to Ipswich at the moment with the rumours of us not having the money? Yeah. Um, that guy uh, who got on trial, Lamar. Apparently, he does look very good. He, he, looked, really he looked good, good for Swansea last year. He looked very good for Swansea, and we need an out-and-out -out winger, which is what apparently he is. So he's he's looks to be pretty good. Obviously, I don't, I don't know if they're still trying to get Ryan Fraser back, aren't they? If that's I don't true, know that, that will that happen? Who knows? Speculation, I yeah. think, at the moment. Um, but in terms of the season ahead, then obviously we start next weekend. Mm. What are your expectations? Price. It's going to be. Uh, if we, someone said to me right now, you'll get sixth place, I'd take it. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. The talent but, coming down from the Premiership and yeah. the money that's in the league. I at the minute. expect it's, Newcastle and Villa to be straight back up. Norwich, begrudgingly, I expect them to be thereabouts. Uh, yeah. Not looking forward to the home game against them, to be fair. But I, I think if we achieve sixth place or are challenged for playoffs, that will be an achievement with the current squad if they don't improve. If they don't improve on the current squad, I expect to be struggling mid table again. Uh, I was, I was just, I, I'd like to see a bit more dids this season. Uh, Bish is back, back as well. Yeah. That's obviously a confidence with booster. With Dids, Dids being back and um, fit, in theory, then we've got a hell of a player, assuming he doesn't get sold, like all the rumours at the moment. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, thanks for talking to us on Ipswich Town Talk. Tom Morlock here on Ipswich Town Talk here at the Open Day. I've got Jason with me and just going to speak to him a bit about the season upcoming. Um, first of all, what have you made of Town's pre-season, the results um, and also the, the transfers that we've made as well? Bit old, bit old at the moment. A bit, we, need, we need some more signings. Definitely need some, a striker. Mm -hmm. um, not, I'm not sure about the weather. I suppose I haven't really seen him play yet, but hopefully be okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's probably won't be ready for the start of the season, but uh, one for the future uh, later on in the season. Uh, Roland Lamar here as well, potential trialist. So, uh, so making some good business as well. Um, what are your expectations for the season? How do you think hopefully we'll do? Playoffs, if we're lucky. Because obviously now it's a tough season with, with Norwich, Newcastle, and Aston Villa all up, all up there. So hopefully the top six if we're lucky. Yeah. Um, realistically, like if you were to say a position now, where would you think we came? Say uh, six then. Six. Let's go. We'll go for six. That'll be a, a good achievement, um, I think, as well. Uh, and what about you in terms of do you have a season ticket um, and have you news? No. Um, come away from Essex so oh, okay. I need to come there and then go back three, go, three games at home if I, when I can so well thanks very much for talking to Kieran's us Kieran's down here for Ipswich Town Talk I'm with Matt and I'm with Mike and we're going to discuss uh, pre-season what's been going on guys what do you think of the results it's not been great has it um, results haven't been great but I'm, I'm, I'm worried about lack of goals to be honest with you lack of goals from the strikers it's not really been good enough get Cambridge Barnet Colchester it's not been great, but but we've been playing better football, which is what the fans wanted. Yeah, they're trying to implement a new style of play. Obviously, it's going to take time to to come into effect. But is it affecting what town are good at at the end of the day? Personally, I don't take much credence in pre-season results. It's about fitness and team's bonding and spirit. Um, results to me, by the by, I think you can have, a, have an average pre-season and start the season okay. You know, it's. Uh, yeah, lack of goals are a bit of an issue, I think, in pre-season. Then I see us do other, other pre-season, scored loads of goals, and the season comes along, nothing happens. But, but you know, there's no goals, so it's kind of 
it's hard to judge pre-seasons really. They're not a full tilt and uh, you've got to give them a chance come the start of the season against Barnsley. So in terms of the transfer market then, guys, it's been a bit slow. What, what have you made of it so far in terms of town <laughs> signings? Next to nothing really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, Mr Evans isn't going to invest loads of money into the squad um, by, by buying players. Um, he's got his hands tied, in, in my opinion, um, and he makes a good fist of what he's got. Uh, for me, if we can bring the, the youngsters through, which is what our club's all about really, isn't it? About yeah, bringing the youngsters yeah. through. Um, if we can make a success, success of that, he'll be a, a very good town manager. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, we, need, we do need a couple more decent players to come to the squad, definitely. What about you, Matt? What do you think about the transfer business? Well, from what we've done so far, I'm actually quite happy. I think Webster, very good signing. Gifted, uh, b b what's the word? Ball on the feet, good good defender. Uh, Digby, was, wasn't great towards last, but towards the end of last season, he was, he was looking all right. But I, we do need um, Cameron Stewart, we've just seen him, he's looking okay, I think, but I still think we need a few more wings. This Lamar guy we had uh, Charlton yesterday, I think he could be promising if he's still here. He wasn't here, was wasn't he? Wasn't here, so. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of rumours going around that he's not actually here today, no, so I like don't really know what's <laughs> happening with that one. But yeah, um, it would have been a, a decent enough sign, and I would have yeah. thought. In terms of expectations for the season then, guys, what are we thinking? Uh, <laughs> pessimistic, optimistic? Um, ever the optimist. I'm an optimist, I have to admit. <laughs> I, think, I think we'll get top 10 again this season. I'll be, I'll be pretty, with what we've got, I think top 10 will be okay. It'll be the hardest season we've had for a long, long time, I think. Um, if we break the top six, it'd be a fantastic season. Um, I think the top 10 would be an achievement for us. Yeah. The squad we've got and the investment we've had in the squad, there's so many good, good clubs in the league this season. And, uh, it's going to be a tough one. Here. That's it for this video for today. Thanks to all those who've got involved and shared their thoughts. Uh, if you'd like to get involved, then please do get in touch with us at Ipswich Town Talk on various social media platforms. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on the 6th of August, of course, for your thoughts on that first home game against Barnsley. But until then, it's goodbye from me, Tom Warlock, and the rest of the Ipswich Town Talk team.